Hey people, today I'm showing you how to install Saiji Mod 7 on your Android Wildfire S. Um, right, so there's two ways you can do it. Uh, I'll show you both ways. And also, before you do this, your phone has to be rooted, bootloader has to be unlocked for it to be rooted. Um, and the files you're going to need for this, you're going to need two files. You're going to need the Saiji Mod file, which is one, and the Google Apps Mod, which is another because when you install Saiji mod, it won't come with the marketplace or anything. So method one, say, I'll, I'll put um, the links below where you can get the both downloads for. Right, method one, You uh, what you can do, you get the files, drag them and put them onto the root of your SD card. And then, you can, then, if you have an app called ROM Manager, which you can get from the marketplace, you open that up, then you can go install ROM from SD card then you find wherever you've put it and my, in my case I stuck it in download and the, at the bottom I've got my um, Saiyajin mod file and then up there is the Google file but I'm, say I wanted to install it, I've select that and then what you're going to well you can't really see it because of the brightness, I'm sorry but there's three options what you're going to need to do is tick the option that says wipe data and cache and then OK once you do that, it will take you, it will boot you into um, the recovery, uh, line to like, uh, into the bootloader, sorry. So I'm going to boot myself back into the bootloader. Then once, when you're in, in the bootloader and it's installing, um, it will say deleting old files, which it has to delete everything. You'll lose all your contacts and your text messages. So... Yeah. Right. Let's go to bootloader. Right. Anyway, yeah, so you'll lose all your text messages in that, but that's what happens, I guess, if you want this installation. Um, yeah, the first time you install Saiji Mod on the Android phone, it took, for the first boot, it took probably about seven minutes. So, if it's taking a long time, do not remove your battery, because as soon as you, if you think it's crashed and you remove the battery, then you know you've ruined it and you would have to repeat the process all over again so but you have to make sure you delete the um, you have to factory wipe everything on this phone delete everything and then uh, once it's installed that's it that's the method you can use using the ROM manager and the other method you can use in the clockwork recovery uh, so then what you want to do you go down to that op this option you can't see again I'm sorry it says install zip from SD card so then you'd select that by pushing your power button then you'd go choose zip from SD card and this will have every file that's on your SD card so you'd go down again like wherever you've placed it and like I said in my case I placed it into the download and uh, it's got my the CM mod uh, Marvel Nightlight and then it's got the Google Apps add-on so then you'd push the power button and install the CM Jump, CM7 mod. Uh, let that boot, it will take, like I said, seven minutes. Once it's fully installed, then it will take a further two minutes for your phone to be ready, because it will lag for a while. Then after that, every time you reboot your phone, it will be perfect. Um, but when you get it, you won't have any of your um, like apps like Gmail and Android. So what you, what you're going to need to do if you want them is, as I was saying, with a Google Apps pack, when you go back into this recovery, Clockwork recovery, instead of this time, in, repeat the process like before, like what I just said. But instead of installing CM7, you you'll install the Google Apps zip. So then you'd select. So you could either do that in the ROM manager or in uh, Clockwork recovery. So in Clockwork Recovery, you find wherever you placed it on your file, and then you'd push the power button, and it would only take probably about two seconds. Then once you've done that, once it's installed, you go back, go back, go back, and reboot your system. I'm sorry about the contrast. It's, I haven't, I'm not too sure how to use this camera yet, because it's a bit... So like I said, um, install Saiji Mod 7, 
using the run manager or you can use clockwork recovery but it might it will probably just be easier to use clockwork recovery but make sure before you do that you factory wipe your phone delete everything off of it and you can do that in the phone settings or you can do it in clockwork recovery as soon as you go into it there should be an option that says factory wipe and you select that but make sure you do a backup of your existing rom which you can do in clockwork recovery again and that will take five minutes and as you can see i'm booting up into the side mod Load it up, I think. Unlock. It all. It does sometimes take a while to get. Uh, like it's a bit laggy when you first do it because the reason for that is, is I was just I was just in recovery mod. So right now you've got that installed. Now you'll have all your marketplace apps back. So the only thing is you won't have your contacts. So you're gonna have to get all your contacts back. Um, another thing is that what I've noticed as well is sometimes when you install the Google Zip that the Google Apps Pack when you reboot the phone it will come up with a welcome screen so it will say welcome to such and such touch the Android to continue um, if you touch it and it's not letting you continue like go past that what you're going to need to do if it, like if it just says welcome to wildfire and not wildfire s doesn't matter but if you select in the Android in the center and it's not letting you continue at all then what you're going to need to do is power down the phone take your battery out hold the power switch for five seconds then put the battery back in reboot into recovery mod then reinstall the Google Apps thing just reinstall it and it should work if it doesn't work then you can go on the XDA forums which I'll post a link for their forums down below and they, they will help you but I'm, I guarantee it will work anyway so that's my tutorial of how to install Sidejim Mod 7. Um, if you want any more help, please comment below or like or just say anything, and I'm, I'm more than happy to help. Right, thanks so much. Thank you very much for watching. This.